What's up, YouTube? How y'all doing? This Enoch coming back with another video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. This is a video about dreams, aka the spiritual realm. So, y'all, yeah, I'm out here in nature. You know, I'm getting in tune with myself, connected with the sun. But dreams are a key to your survival. Each night that you sleep, you have access to the spiritual realm. When you are asleep, you have one foot in this reality and the other foot in the dream world. The dream world has a bridge to this third dimension to the land of the gods. Many people are unaware of their potential. You can unlock DNA codes that you didn't know that you had. You can travel throughout dimensions. When you fall asleep, your brain and your conscience is at rest. When that happens, your soul comes out of your body. The Egyptians believe the heart is the soul. But when you travel out of your body, you can travel to great distances. That is why you have deja vu. Wake up, people. The dreams that you have, they give you nothing but the truth. They tell you where you are at on a cosmic level. If you don't participate in the dream world, spiritual realm, you are not with the collective conscience. One with the universe. Connected to all. You have to stay balanced. That is a key. To having. Vivid dreams. Lucid dreams. Now. You can practice. Meditating. When you meditate. Make sure. Your mind, body, and spirit is at peace at that point in time. And eventually, you will open your third eye. When you fall asleep, that's how you have lucid dreams, vivid dreams. Because your pineal gland is activated. Your pineal gland looks like a pine cone. But back to the topic. When you are asleep, you are visited by spiritual beings. When you have vivid dreams, lucid dreams, astral projection, you can talk to other beings. You can get divine messages. Your higher self is trying to talk to you. You can see demons, angels, gods, and goddesses. Pay attention to numbers. Pay attention to colors. For an example, the number 1111, 222, they are angel numbers. Ever since I started these videos, I have been seeing those numbers and more. What that means is that your spiritual gods, angels, ancestors, the creator, are trying to contact you. Whatever 
you are going through in that point in time, just stop what you are doing and think. Your gods may be trying to tell you that you are on the right path or that you are not on the right path. They like to send messages to you. You are unaware of that because you are stuck at a low frequency, a low vibration. Once you become balanced, which really means peace, happiness, stop the bad habits. Once you become balanced, you will simply ascend. I'm going to give you an example with your job situation. This is about balance and not having balance. So, if you are working at a dead end job, you are not happy, satisfied, miserable, you don't want to leave, you want to stay in the middle. That is where nightmares come from, people. You have to get out of that situation. Find happiness, a better job that you love to do. And that's how you become balanced. The ancients, they knew about the powers of the dream. They knew that it restores your health. It regenerates you. They practiced it. They also practiced preparing for the afterlife. The Egyptians, the Hebrews, people like that. I'm going to give you another example. The tree in your backyard is not just a tree. It is the representation of the conscience and the subconscious. Now, I got to go back and tell you about the beings that you see in your dreams. All of them are not good. Most of them are demonic demons. They can take any shape or form. They know what you like. They know what you fear. They can come in a form of a beautiful woman or a loved one. It is common. That is why you have wet dreams. It is a spiritual attack. Simply. So vivid dreams. When you are dreaming. Astral projection. You can walk around. You can have a conversation. With other beings. They can speak back. You can get anything instantaneously. Car, money, motorcycle, flying, running, realizing that you are in a dream. That stuff is very known if you are awoke like I am. You practice meditation and balance. But that's pretty much it that I wanted to give you about dreams. There is three types of dreams. The personal, the transpersonal, and the archetype. 